Uh, Harry, just talk us maybe about, about team news ahead of, of the weekend. I know you, you've got a few players out. Are any close to, to coming back? Um, we're working tired, tirelessly on uh, getting these players back to, to full fitness. Um, the, the, the medical staff is, is good. It's um, heading in the right directions. Yes, we, we're still carrying a few knocks. Um, so that's the, the disappointing thing, but they're, they're getting very close. So um, it's not 100% yet, but we're getting there. How difficult is it to come to a club and, and be faced with a, a bit of an injury list? It must be very frustrating, even though you say it's moving in the right direction. Look, it's, it's not ideal. Um, but again, you know, the situation we find ourselves in is not ideal as well. Um, so we have to work together as a, as a team as one and that's just not the the players that's the staff it's the uh the people within the club and we stick together and we, and we go through the r the rough times and then uh hopefully we get through them and then we can start to, to see a little bit of sunshine on the positive side two players have come in two defenders let's start with jamie uh, turley who was who was a player i think uh, who had uh, a time of a trial spell at crawley last season what can you tell us about him well, uh, Turley's a, an, an excellent player, he's an excellent pro. Uh, he's got the experience. Uh, for me, I did have him at Crawley and I liked him very much and I wanted to bring him into my squad there and then, uh, but uh, the owners had other ideas. Uh, so for me to be able to, to bring him in, uh, especially going through a bit of a crisis, it's, it's, it's actually a lucky touch because like I said, he can offer us uh, especially uh, strength at the back uh, speed, and he can play um, either centre back or right back, so it gives us that that option as well. And again, it brings competition towards uh, my other players. So again, for for us to be able to to sign Turley is, is a bonus for us, and uh, we're looking forward to see what he can actually do. And then Cedric Avina, someone again you you know well, spent most of last season I think on loan with you. What what are his best attributes? Again, he's well. First and foremost, he's he's an athlete. He's uh, he's up and down the pitch. He's very composed on the ball. He's played obviously at a very um, he's played at a very high level. He's got a great uh, pedigree background. So again, to be able to to come in and sign a player that already knows my ideas and how I want to play is it's actually quite comforting. Um, and again, for for Cedric, it's it's going to be um, it's going to be tough, but Again, I know what uh, capabilities that he's got, that uh, he, I'm sure he'll succeed. It's two defenders you brought in. Is that the area you really thought was the most crucial to strengthen? I think we had to strengthen it because we had about seven injured at the back. So <laughs> I think it's important to be able to, I mean, like even the last week where we had to play a couple of people out of positions, uh, it's not ideal because our, our our defenders have uh, you know, gone down. They're supposed to be the hardest in the team as well. So it's, uh, look, we've just been a little bit unlucky in the back. So to be able to bring strength into the team, which is, uh, which is what we needed. After a 5-1 defeat, how was the response in, in training this week from your players? Good. Well, it's, it's been our first kind of week together. Uh, being able to, to get an idea of what they're used to as in training. Uh, they get a, a slight um, uh, insight to how I work as well. So for us, it's been a, it's, it's been a positive week. I mean, the the players have been excellent since I've taken over, and we got thrown into two games quickly. Uh, and I, I felt we performed well in both games. It was just again moments of uh, sloppiness, uh, you know, conceding from set pieces, which you know we're we're look to we're looking to correct. And hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, but again, you've just got to make sure you're on top of your game. Rob Milsom mentioned a similar thing about sloppiness in an interview. Does that then bring you as, as manager real optimism that you can see the talent here, but, but players are just maybe just making those mistakes? So medium term, you know, you, you see that there's obviously a, a way out of a poor start. Well, you talk about the club in itself, how it's it's been on a bit of a journey. You know, it's... Uh, it struggled a couple of years ago, uh, and then the the last manager done well to get him into a playoff position. But they flew at the start of the season, and then come January it was been a bit of a bit of a roller coaster. So I think things have kind of settled, uh, especially over the last ten days. But I'm still picking up a lot of the pieces. But again, the the 
the energy, the enthusiasm, the willingness to learn from the players has been excellent. And like I said, we are going to go through more dark patches, uh, but you're going to start seeing uh, a change. Uh, and But, you know, would we like things to change overnight? Yeah, of course, 100% would like things to be, you know, bright and breezy straight away and, and happy and all that. But, you know, unfortunately, we've got to work hard and we've got to get back to basics. You know, we've got to get our level of fitness up. Uh, we've got to get our mental toughness up and we've got to be able to concentrate not only for 45 minutes or 60 minutes, we've got to, we've got to concentrate for 90, 94 minutes. And let's just touch on Stevenage at the weekend. Where do you think they can hurt you most on Saturday? Well, I've already played Stevenage this, this year. Um, and again, it was a it was an interesting game. Uh, definitely, uh, crosses they 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 look to get crosses into the box. They they play whether it's a four three three or a four five one, um, and whether Kennedy wants to play through the middle or drift out uh, to the to the right hand side. He he likes to come inside, but they they work hard. You know, first and foremost, they work hard. They're very solid at the back. They take no chances. And again, I think it will be a, a good game for us. It will be a tough game because Steven is just doing well and the manager's got them up fighting. So again, they're, they've, had, they've had a good start to the season. But I'll be, um, I'll, be, I'll be looking forward to this challenge. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, the, the two new signings you mentioned, Turley being a good pro, is that kind of something you were keen to get in as someone with kind of mental strength to, to raise everyone else? Yeah, of course. You're always looking to improve the squad, uh, squad but you're also looking to bring players in that one are, are positive people, that are talkers, that are also winners. And again, he's in his last couple of training sessions, he's a talker, he's a winner. So again, yeah, bringing these kind of players in is, is only going to benefit myself and the team. Do you have a lot of talkers here already? I know with Mark Ross, you mentioned it was quite a quiet group before you came in. Have you noticed, noticed that from what you've seen this week? <sighs> Look, it's a, that's, it's, it's a good question because no one will talk when everyone's down. Mm. You know, it's it's hard because people don't want to criticise because you're probably not doing your job as well. So it's difficult for a player to have a go at someone. But how how we should be going as a team is positive criticism. Mm. You know, we we need to be able to have a go at each other in the right way. Mm. You know, not in not in the wrong way. And we need to go and 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 stick together, but be able to. Tell someone off, you know, I, I need leaders out there. And regardless whether you're wearing the armband or not, you know, you should have 11 leaders out there. Um, and again, bringing in players like Turley and Avina, it, it brings that little bit more leadership as well for Is me. A, a challenge for you as a coach this week to balance, you know, the tactics you want to get across and the message you want to cross, get across, but at the same time not crushing players' morale because it's obviously a tough time. Has that been a challenge for you? <laughs> It, no, because the the players have responded very well. Mm. They're they're looking to be, uh, they're looking to learn. They're looking to try new experiences. Uh, so the morale is is there. Like I said, they're they're a great bunch of guys. Mm. They 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 wanna they wanna do well and they wanna succeed. Okay, they're probably just lacking that little bit of confidence. Mm. I I go back to you know Grimsby and Exeter. We were we were confident into the game and even two 0 down at Exeter. Uh, I actually looked at it and I'm shaking my head going, how are we 2-0 down? Um, we then get back into the game and I feel we we're in the game and then we, we, make a, we make a mistake that I think really kind of took the wind out of our sails and then you, you, you're chasing the game because it's 3-1, the minutes are ticking down now, there's no more half time or you know, there's no more breaks. So you have to kind of adjust try to attack in different ways, and you're gonna leave yourself vulnerable. So for me, even though it was disappointing to lose by 5-1, I still think that the boys have come in the next days and trained, and they're ready for this, and they're ready for that challenge. Have you looked a lot at Steven Are you very much focused on getting knots to play how you want them to play, not worry quite as much about the opposition as you would do normally? I'm always a, I've always been a player. I've always been a coach, and now as a manager, I'll look after what we need to do uh, as a team. Um, don't get me wrong, there's um, things that Stevenage do that we will pick out and we will let the information known to uh, certain players and to the team. But for me, we concentrate on ourselves. 
you, you mentioned before about <coughs> mistakes. One mistake sets you back. It, how do you carry out those mistakes? Because is it a mental thing of just players are a bit nervous, so a bit worried about making that error? Or is it fitness. 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 Mm. The, you know, the fitter you are, the clearer you think. Mm. It's as simple as that. I've uh, over, I've always been told by it. I've always lived by that. And this is uh, something that will get bred into my team. You know, uh, the only reason you make a, a mistake is because you're tired. You know, and when tiredness kicks in, it kind of, you know, that's when mistakes kick in. So again, the the fitter you are, the clearer you think. Have you working them hard this week then? It was actually good because uh, <laughs> I worked them hard on Tuesday, but they they, they they turned around and said it was only a six and a seven. So I, I thanked them on Wednesday and I said, well, at least you've given me leeway now to really hurt you. And they, <laughs> they kind of had a go at the, the uh, Jamie, the fitness guy, because... You know, they, they were struggling and then, um, so I, I, I hurt them on Wednesday, yes. And just lastly, is it too soon for the new signings in terms of match fitness then to be considered for this game? Or could they come in? I bring in players that are ready. Mm. You know, they're, they're, they're ready, they've, they've been working, they just haven't had uh, that, that click. Like I said, uh, Turley was in with me in Crawley, so he did three, three good weeks of pre-season. Uh, Cedric's always been an athlete anyway. He's always looked after himself. He was close to, to signing and it's something just pulled out which benefited us. So again, they will be ready. Thank you. Dave? Yeah, uh, hi, hi Harry. Um, you've obviously gone on, about, on the back of the Exeter game that uh, you've used to try to positive criticism of the players for bits and pieces through the game. Certain pundits, like Merson, etc., have been talking about the use of the hairdryer that Sir Alex Ferguson famously used is now a bit outdated. Is that something you subscribe to, or do you think there is room for, if needed, coming down on the players hard? Um, I will always come down hard on my players because I think it's the only way you should you should speak to players. Uh, it's just when is the moment right for it, you know? Because let's face it, after Exeter, a lot of emotions would have been flying around, especially even during for myself because what I done. So again, maybe straight after games, it's not about throwing hair dryers or boots or anything of, of that kind. You know, it's about just talking and then understanding a little bit and then going through it again on uh, the next days that you're in. So I don't think it's it comes down to that. Every manager is different. Um, but when there is moments where you need to, to speak, at the end of the day, we're, we're, we're all men. We're all playing a profession that everybody loves, not only ourselves, but the fans as well. And we're all proud and we want to see our team do well. And sometimes everyone just needs that little bit of a, a kickstart as well.